Get daily updates directly to your inbox plus subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Could not subscribe. Try again later invalid email. Sako on the move. Dia for Sako finally looks set to seal a move away from West Ham 18 months after his transfer to West Brom which Albion fell through. The Baggies agreed a 15 million move for Sako in August 2016 but couldn't push the transfer through. And he remained at the London Stadium. But Crystal Palace are now in pole position to sign the 28-year-old after seeing a 10 million bid. Accepted. Reports Football. London. A combination of a back problem and a an hamstring injury restricted Sako to just four Premier League appearances last season and his hopes of featuring regularly this year were dealt a blow. When the Hammers spent 16 metres on Javier Hernandez last summer, he's yet to start a game in the top flight of English football this term, although he's weighed with two goals but looks set to move on whilst the January transfer window is open in order to ensure he's included in Aliu Sissa's Senegal squad for the World Cup finals. According to Sky Sports, Sako has interest from another club in the capital as the report states that the Eagles are in talks with the Irons over a potential deal, with Connor Wickham still on the road to recovery following a serious knee injury. Palace manager Roy Hodgson is short of options in attack and appears to be on the market to bring in competition for Christian Benteke. However, the former England manager might face some competition for Sako's signature as fellow strugglers. Swansea City have also been credited with an interest in the 15 metres rated centre forward. But it would seem the South Londoners are in the driving seat at the moment. Baggies tipped to Landini. West Bromwich Albion have been tipped to sign Troy Deeney from Watford this month. The Baggies have been installed as red-hot favourites to land the striker during the window. Deeney, 29, was a long-time target of former Albion boss Tony Pulis who had designs on launching a move for the Birmingham-born frontman in January before he was sacked in November. Strengthening the side's options up front remains a priority for current manager Alan Pardew who has repeatedly pointed to the need for attacking reinforcements in the window. Expected to be busy, Alan Pardew will be looking to add new faces to his West Brom squad this month, and the bookies believe he will be one of the busiest bosses. Albion are being tipped to be the third busiest team out of all the Premier League clubs according to the bookmakers, the Baggies boss has admitted that the team needs fresh faces to spark a revival in their bid to improve their league position. With Johnny Evans looking increasingly likely to leave, Pardue could have have a decent kitty to play with. And that has been reflected in the betting market, with Albion priced at 10 thirds, making them the third favourites for a frenzy of activity. Southampton and Crystal Palace are the top two teams expected to be opening the purse strings on a regular basis. United joined the chase. Manchester United have been asked to be kept updated on former defender Johnny Evans' situation at West Brom. According to reports, the Times claims Evans' former club retain an interest in the sought-after Baggies defender despite allowing him to leave Old Trafford in 2015. Speculation about Evans' future is rife with stories claiming Manchester City have already held talks with Albion, while Arsene Wenger placed his interest on the record on Tuesday. He also voiced his fears the Arsenal would be outgunned if City made a formal approach. Everton and West Ham have also been linked. In the meantime, back in the relative calm of the Hawthorns, the Baggies' most recent public utterance insists no offers have been made on that any discussion about their defenders' future remains merely talk.